Hey guys and welcome back. I hope you're all well. So today I thought I would give you an update on where I am with the Poundland Hashtag 6 collection that I originally did a first impression on a year ago. I have mentioned a couple of these products in product empty videos and sharing with you my thoughts after I finished them. But I thought it would be a good idea to do a whole roundup and just final thoughts on the whole collection because there was four products added to the collection. Originally there were six, that's why it was called hashtag six. Two were the eye patches and the sheet mask that I did a separate first impression on about four months ago. So I feel ready now to share with you what I think of the whole collection and hopefully you'll find this helpful if it's the first time watching me or you're just searching for a review on the Poundland skincare line as a whole. Okay I've just got my blog post up on the original six products because I did do an update on this in January of this year so I will have that link down below. I just want to also mention that everything I know sometimes in Poundland and things can be two pound and five pound but this whole collection everything was one pound each so let's start with the micellar water I don't actually have this on me anymore because I did throw it away after I finished it it was suitable for all skin types this micellar cleansing water with aloe vera vitamin E and pro vitamin b5 is designed to remove makeup and aid in purifying cleansing and smoothing the skin the micellar water I used to obviously take my makeup off and I did use this to remove my eye makeup and then I had a very kind subscriber reach out to me and mention that it does say on the back that it can irritate your eyes and it did really sting my eyes. Also I did want to add it didn't remove my face face makeup the best. Usually they tend to be quite quick at removing makeup and that's why they're a good alternative if you're short for time. But overall for me this wouldn't be something I would buy again. If you are going to buy this then I probably wouldn't suggest using it to remove your eye makeup. I would just say it's worth spending a couple more pounds just to get something that works a bit more efficiently and effectively. Okay, next up we have the anti-aging day cream. This is actually rubbed off the writing but this was the day cream and the night cream had exactly the same packaging. The day cream, this had ingredients such as algae extract, collagen, vitamin A and E, and this anti-aging day cream claims to help combat notable signs of aging and helps the skin feel radiant, moisturized and firm. So this whole collection is titled as an anti-aging collection, which is quite a bold claim for a one pound skincare collection, let alone it being five, 10, 15 pound and upwards. I do think this would have to have some super powerful ingredients for you to be able to notice a difference. But for me, this cream I did actually enjoy using. It was a really nice lightweight cream. It did take a little while longer to sink into the skin. However, my skin did always feel Feel really nice and moisturized and hydrated afterwards and overall although I did like how this felt on my skin I probably wouldn't purchase this again just because I prefer a lotion as opposed to a cream as I tend to prefer something Thing, a little bit more thin in consistency although this was lightweight it's just a tad bit too thick for me for the day because I am layering so many different skincare products and then also my makeup on top but if you are after something that's just really easy and you just want it to moisturize and hydrate your face then this is a good one and this did last a real good long time as well because you only need a tiny bit all over your face and neck. Okay, we may as well go on to covering about the night cream. So let me just tell you a little bit about this one. Again, this is an anti-aging night cream 
and it has a lovely mix of the same ingredients as the day cream. The only difference being the pro vitamin B5 is also included. Both the day and the night cream do have a slight scent to them. So if you dislike things with scents in, then you may not enjoy using this. The night cream, I preferred a tad more than the day cream. I do prefer a cream and something a bit thicker for the evening, so it has a nice amount of time to sink into my skin while I'm sleeping. And this for me did really hydrate my skin. And I also found the next day that my skin looked really nice and plump and glowy. I most probably would buy this again on occasion. It doesn't top any of my other night creams that I've used, but if I just wanted something that was really nice and moisturizing just to lock in all my other skincare, then I probably would buy this. But anti-aging wise, this hasn't got the most potent or powerful ingredients that I would look for in an anti-aging product to really see a difference in your skin. Right, moving on to the anti-aging eye cream. This on the box claims to gradually reduce fine lines and wrinkles and with skin loving ingredients such as algae, extract and flaxseed oil, this eye cream can be used both for morning and evening. So I was using it for both but not always on the same day. Now I did really enjoy using this, it was lovely and hydrating, it did sink in more or less straight away. The texture was really nice, it wasn't too thick around the eye area. So this is a good one for daytime. This lasted a good long time. This has 15 mils of product in. It is recommended for all skin types, but if you do have any sensitivity around the eye area, I just would patch test it. The only thing for me was, again, this had very bold claims for an anti-aging eye cream that was only a pound. I couldn't really see a difference with regards to that. So I wouldn't generally buy this for the anti-aging benefits. I would just buy it for something that was nice and hydrating under the eyes. Right, next we're gonna move on to the anti-aging collagen filler. This is in exactly the same packaging and size as the serum and the eye cream. They all have 15 mils of product in. And initially I did think both the collagen filler and serum didn't have enough in, considering they're something that you would put all over the face, whereas the eye cream you just use under the eyes, so you don't need as much. Let me tell you, first of all, a little bit about the collagen filler, and then I'll go back to what I just mentioned. So this is an illuminating collagen filler that is designed for anyone who already has visible signs of aging. It it can aid in decreasing the signs of wrinkles and furrows. This has a medium thickness, yet it does sink in straight away. Initially, this did feel quite taut on my skin. For me, I felt like this was more of a primer that you would wear in the daytime before you applied your makeup. Overall, this did make my skin feel softer after using it, but this wasn't my favorite product, I think just because it was quite taut on the skin. And going back to what I mentioned about this not having enough in the tube, I still definitely agree with that. And considering it mentions what it's supposed to do and the fact that it's for all over the face and obviously I put it on my neck as well, I just don't think there's enough but this is only a pound, so if you were gonna buy it, I would suggest just buying two tubes if you really like it, but for me, I just wouldn't buy this again. Lastly, within the original Hashtag 6 collection, we have the Derma Serum. This has ingredients such as jojoba oil, white water lily, rice milk, and sep lift monopeptide. 
much like the collagen filler this is an anti-aging serum that is formulated for skin that already has visible signs of aging it can also help revive and renew the complexion now I do have to agree with that this was my favorite product out of the two of these and for that reason I would buy this again I really enjoyed using this with the night cream these for me worked well together and this serum was nice and lightweight as well so it sunk into the skin straight away and it was nice to use this first and then put the thicker night cream on top the serum I still really enjoyed alone as a separate product but I did prefer it with the night cream because the next day as I mentioned with the night cream it just made a real difference in the way my skin looked with regards to hydration and it looking glowier and for the price I would probably pick up a couple of tubes of this now you can use this in the morning and the evening but as I mentioned I would say this is nicer to use in the evening right moving on to two of the newer additions to the line now there was four new products there was a hand cream wipes eye patches and the sheet mask the hand cream I didn't feel the need to buy also the wipes you guys know how I feel about wipes I do love them occasionally however they're not the best thing to use for your skin so I haven't reviewed them let me know in the comments down below if you have tried either of them but what we are going to talk about are the eye patches first these were one of my favorite products and add-ons to the line these mention on the box that they are for all skin types you get four pairs in here for a pound and they fight visible signs of aging with hydrolyzed collagen and hyaluronic acid in which is a wonderful ingredient now you leave these on for 20 to 30 minutes I generally apply them in the morning while I'm doing my makeup and sheet masks I tend to do in the evening but you can use them whenever you like they're a great pick-me-up and although I didn't see any anti aging benefits I have bought quite a few packs of these just because they're really great value for money and they do hydrate the under eye so they are a wonderful thing to do of a morning if you're tired or for a special occasion or something like that so I think you guys have guessed that I do really like these for hydration purposes okay, the anti-aging collagen woven face mask this is not the best sheet mask I've used but it's not the worst sheet mask I've used. This on the packaging mentions that it fights visible signs of aging with collagen and it has a special blend of herbal extract. This is a really nice sheet mask to apply to the face. It feels comfortable and it does fit to the face well but it doesn't do anything noticeably different when I take it off. So I have used this more than a couple of times because I couldn't make my mind up on what I really thought of these, but now I've used a good few to realize that I wouldn't buy these again. There's so many other great sheet masks out there that are affordable and do a lot better job at hydrating and plumping the skin or whatever your skin concern or need is. I will link my video which I did recently on Sheet Mask 101 where I explain to you what Sheet Mask does, what it's good for and a few of my drugstore favourites. So I would recommend watching that video on Sheet Mask. So in conclusion, the Poundland skincare line is very good if you're just after products that are hydrating, affordable and no fuss. On the other hand, if you're thinking that this is gonna work wonders with wrinkles and fine lines, I would suggest that you look at brands more like The Ordinary and Revolution that have wonderful anti-aging ingredients that target specific things like fine lines and wrinkles. If I was to recommend three products from the Poundland 
skincare line that I think you guys will like. If you just want products that are hydrating, then I would recommend, of course, the Hydrogel eye patches because they're such great value for money for the four pairs. And also the serum teens with the night cream because I really like how glowy this makes my skin look. So I really hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these products and what were your favourites and maybe not so favourite products. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you as part of the PBB community. And if you want to see more skincare videos, let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see next. Have a great start to the week, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.